Welcome to the podcast for and about Colorado Springs. I'm your host, Brittany Felix, and every Monday through Friday, I'll be talking about a different aspect relating to the Springs, including upcoming events, restaurant reviews, local business spotlights, media coverage about the Springs, public works projects, local activities, answering your questions about the city, and much, much more. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast so you don't miss any of the updates. And also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can find links to all of those social media accounts at springspodcast.com forward slash social media. The Colorado Springs Podcast is proudly sponsored by Elevation Hydration. Elevation Hydration is the only hydration therapy clinic serving Colorado Springs, and they are dedicated to helping you elevate your life. They use intravenous vitamin therapy to help athletes needing a boost of energy or help recovering after a tough competition, people experiencing cold-like symptoms or dehydration from the flu, anyone needing to recover quickly from a rough night out, I'm looking at you college kids, and just anyone wanting a healthy alternative to preventative care. They have a wide variety of hydration packages to help address whatever your needs are. They're conveniently located inside Lush Beauty Lounge at 812 Village Center Drive. And if you mention this podcast during your visit, you'll receive $10 off any hydration package. To learn more about Elevation Hydration or to schedule an appointment, visit springspodcast.com forward slash hydrate. Welcome to episode four of the Colorado Springs podcast. Today, I am going to do a review of a local restaurant, and I actually visited this restaurant on Small Business Saturday, so the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and it was myself and my husband, my sister-in-law, and her fiancé, and we went to Bingo Burger in downtown Colorado Springs, and overall, we absolutely loved it. According to their website, Bingo Burger actually started in Pueblo, Colorado. And the chef and the owner apparently set up a grill in front of his wife's bakery and basically just started making hamburgers for people who were looking for something unique and locally sourced. The burgers proved so popular that an actual brick-and-mortar shop was opened in 2010 in the heart of Pueblo's Creative Corridor, and they have obviously since launched a location here in Colorado Springs. As the burgers and fries are cooked to order, creamy milkshakes and malts and ice-cold Colorado craft beers all served in a fun and funky atmosphere make Bingo Burger a winner with locals and out-of-towners alike. And honestly, I have to say that I agree with that. I just love the atmosphere of the location, and there was a gentleman there who I'm assuming is either the manager or the owner, and he was just completely fun and interactive with us and the rest of the customers and just making sure everyone was really taken care of. They do put a high emphasis on customer service there, which is very, very much appreciative. And what I love about Bingo Burger is they do have their signature sandwiches that are already kind of all set up for you, but they have a build your own burger option. And I always, always, always love when restaurants do this because I'm a very, very picky person. So usually I have to end up customizing whatever it is I order anyways. And they have actually a lot of options And the thing is, they're, you know, they're fresh and they're locally sourced, which is amazing and fantastic. But they just have unique things. You know, I mean, where else do you get rosemary mushrooms on a burger or, you know, goat cheese or the option to turn your burger into a lettuce wrap? You know, and it's not just beef. They have chicken and lamb and also veggie burgers as well. And I think one of my absolute favorite things (laughs) was the bacon mayonnaise that comes as an option with their fries. It's pretty much like the greatest thing ever. I love bacon and unfortunately I love mayonnaise so combining the two was perfection in my mind and we actually ordered this for our french fries but instead I ended up just putting it on my sandwich and using it on that and then just dipping my fries in ketchup because I'm also kind of a ketchup freak so. But even then, some other sauces that they have for their fries are completely different. You know, Thai chili ketchup, cranberry barbecue, lemon rosemary aioli. So they have a lot of unique flavors here. And all four of us loved what we got. They also, I mean, you don't have to go with a burger. They have salads and they also, of course, have shakes and malts that you can get. So there's a wide variety of of things that you can do. And they have mini burgers, which are perfect for children 
or, you know, other people who don't want to quite eat a full, full meal because these hamburgers are not tiny and the serving size of the fries are not tiny. So you actually get a lot of food for the money. So the mini burgers are definitely an option. And instead of traditional soda drinks, they actually use main root brand fountain soda. So that's something a little bit unique and interesting and good to know, I think, to be mentally prepared for if you're a Coca-Cola addict like I am. But again, they also do, of course, have craft beers and wine and just about anything that you could possibly want for a very nice, cute, interesting, fun restaurant. So I'm going to have a link to their website on my website as well as a link to their menu so that you can check that out before you go. And you can find all of that information at springspodcast.com forward slash 004. And those are the actual numbers, 004. And I'm also going to have some pictures that I took because, yes, I am one of those crazy people who takes pictures of their food before they eat it. But at least now with this podcast, I actually have an excuse. (laughs) And another thing to mention is Bingo Burger is on social media. I actually follow them on Instagram, and they're regularly posting awesome deals, so you want to make sure that you follow them. Again, there'll be a link to that in the show notes for this episode as well, springspodcast.com forward slash 004. That's going to wrap it up for today. I want to invite you to come back tomorrow where I'm going to have a special treat. I haven't actually talked to him yet, but I'm going to convince my husband to be on the show. So you're finally going to meet my husband, Brian, and get to know him a little bit better. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I cannot wait to have you back tomorrow.